does not mean that they don't know what they're doing, right? Well We've boys. seen these guys going around the track and they are awesome. They are awesome, they are fast, they are blazing and they are absolutely We're definitely, mental. definitely in for a show today, we can assure you that. Yes, so the, just a quick reminder of what's happening here on day 3 at Ride Amina 2019. The first race is going to be the Norwich 500 CC category. We're going to follow up by... I'm going to cut it short rock. and head straight into the race. And our riders are off into the finals of the 500cc Novice Class Challenge. Complete chaos! Wow, I think some, something went down real hard on um, around the first corner. What a crazy launch that! But wow, these guys are... Oh! Oh, and exactly what I told you. You see the surface right now is a little slippery. So traction is going to be a problem for a lot of these guys. But I think they're making their way around fairly quickly. Yeah, absolutely. These guys are pushing these machines. They're really cutting into this dirt, right? I think that water is going to be gone pretty quick. We're going to be seeing a lot of dust today. Yeah, I mean, usually when you go dirt, track, dirt riding or dirt racing, you don't need traction. I mean, you really want the wheel to spin freely. But this is fairly difficult because there's lots of water on the ground right now. They've just watered it recently. And that's going to be a problem for a lot of these riders. And we can clearly see that number 106 has taken his lead. He's maintained that lead now for one full lap. One full lap. And followed by number 123 in second place. Yeah, this truly is exciting. Exactly what I said. We have had a fall from number 126. He's going to try getting up on his motorcycle. Gets the wheel flowing and he's off. You know what I really love about a race like this is even if these guys slide out, you right. see them immediately pick up the bike, get back on the bike and shoot away, right? It's just fantastic to see them not giving up. That's Everybody awesome. Everybody knows, right? Yes. This can be any man's race. Absolutely. And another point that I would like to add here is the fact that when you go road racing, the weight of the competitor is usually a big thing. But here, the chunkier you are, chunkier you are the more traction you have on the rear wheel. And oh, there's something that's gotten stuck. There's a cone that's on the track. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's taken it off. He's wow. to disconnect from the cone and he's continued the race. That's fantastic. Wow, this is something very rare to happen in a race. Yeah. <laughs> like and of course, just like you said, like the weight of the rider, in this case with these 500cc engines, yeah. the big healthy engines, it doesn't matter, right? You want that weight to give you the, the advantage in these races. We can clearly see 106 followed by 123 followed by one, oh sorry, 122 followed by 123. They're holding their positions in the pack. Absolutely. Oh. They're taking the bail onto the track. Lots of dirt flying around. I hope you guys are enjoying all the racing action that's coming your way from Rider Mania 2019. This is so much fun to watch it live, isn't it, Clifton? Yeah, correct, correct. These are the machines that everyone has come to see. These are the riders that we're all here for, right? This is the creme de la creme. This is going to be an incredible, incredible race. And we've got two more races coming up, by the way. This is just the novice category. We've got the expert category that's going to follow up. And after that, the grand finale, the gold standard of dirt riding here at Rider Mania, the race of the champion. Yeah, absolutely. I've just seen number 133, Dave Fendekesh, doing a massive power slide around wow. the last corner. Oh, this is a fairly wrong race, if I'm not wrong. It's about 12 laps. They still have seven laps to go. Number 106 still in the lead, followed by number 123, followed by number 122 in the third position. Lots of crowd around here on a Sunday. You know, it's always good to see that people step out on a Sunday, come to watch this form of racing. And it's, I'm super happy to see that Royal Enfield is a part of this motorsports initiative as well. <laughs> you can see hay on the side, somewhere near the sprocket. People are carrying hay, people are carrying dirt, people are carrying muck all over their helmets. Oh, people are actually honking! <laughs> this is so much fun to see people honking on a racetrack. Have you ever seen it before? I certainly haven't. One zero six. Clifton, you were saying you wanted to participate in a race next year? Yeah, most certainly. I don't think I'll be giving the 500 cc's a go. For me, it's the Himalayan, man. Himalayan all the way. I'm definitely going to be here, definitely going to be competing as long as Royal Enfield lets me. They might want me back here behind the microphone, but I'm going to do everything I can to at least get in one race. Yeah, people who have joined in live right about now, just about now, 
please go to the start when you get the time because we have spoken about the FT411 which is a flat track motorcycle based on the Himalayan. Super interesting spec to talk about. They've removed a lot of things, they've added a lot of things and that is going to be a motorcycle that is going to be an integral part of the slide school. Yeah and of course slide school is an impressive endeavour by Royal Enfield an effort to push the Indian riding scene to the next level, right? To start training our young riders so that they can be competitive, not just on the national, but also the international scale. Right. It's a fantastic initiative, and I just can't wait to see it grow and grow and grow. Absolutely. So getting back to the race, number 106, by the way, has taken a huge lead. I think he's found his traction. I think he's found his proper throttle input. He's getting his lines right. He's getting his throttle right. He's getting his braking markers right. Everything on point for rider number 106 who is in the lead by a huge, huge margin. Three laps to go. Yeah, really, we are seeing quite clear spacing between first, second and third place. As long as these guys keep riding the way they are, they're certainly going to maintain that podium position. 106 pick up some grass on his way to the finish line. And they don't, and they don't care if they're carrying grass, if they're carrying something else, they're carrying a cone, they'll take it off get back to racing. Yeah, man, they're not going to stop for anything. They're just going to keep on rolling. And just the sound that's, you know, reverberating throughout this arena. It's not just the people, it's the motorcycle, the enthusiasm. We are in top form. I think I'm having a lot of fun. What about yeah, you, Yeah, I can feel these exhausts in my feet, man. The whole <laughs> ground is shaking. This is incredible. What an atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, surprising. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you know about this fact, but and uh, a particular word that's associated with Royal Enfield motorcycles is duk duk. Yep. Duk duk. So yes. it goes duk 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 yes, duk. Yes. <laughs> and that's all that we're hearing since the past 10 minutes since and the race has been on. Yeah, of course, it's a little quicker with these throttles. It's a little <laughs> bit more like duk 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 duk. Yeah, absolutely. But that's the sound that's reverberating throughout this arena. Lots of people here on the sidelines coming to cheer for their favorite rider. What is your, or rather, who is your favorite rider? Let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, absolutely. We want to hear what you guys think about this race. Would you have the guts to compete? Would you like to be here at Rider Mania competing in the 500cc Novice Challenge? Absolutely. And uh, today is the last day of Rider Mania and I often get saddened by... The checkered flag is out. Oh, is that? The checkered flag is out. Checkered flag's out. Number 106 has taken this, this one race home. is over. Yes, this race is over, but we still have the expert category and the race of the champions that's coming your way. Meanwhile, we have a contest running. We've already asked a question on Instagram. We asked one yesterday, and I think we're going to give out the answer for the first question that we asked yesterday. The question was, in which year did the first Rider Mania take place? And do you want to say the answer? The answer, I believe, and now One this is five. just based on the fact One that I know it's 11 years running. One yeah. Right, so I believe 2009 is what I've been told. Is Clifton, you I do know that there is some controversy. Yeah. There is a lot of discussions. As it often happens, these things grow at grassroots levels. Right. But I believe 2009 was the first year that the Rider Mania banner was first flown. Yeah, that was the first official Rider Mania. But when we take it back by another six years, that is 2003, that's actually the first time Rider Mania took place. Ah, so we're talking controversy. Yeah, That's what controversy. Heard. But 2003 is the correct answer. If you've gotten that right, then you are going to win some exciting Power Drift merchandise. Stay tuned because we're going to announce the winner of this contest very, very soon. But we have another question uh, that we posted on Instagram All today. And that question was, last year when I came back, when I rode down to ride a mania, which motorcycle was I riding? Sharma. Have you seen that video? I have not. I'm deeply saddened by this fact. <laughs> but yeah, that is the question that we have asked. There are lots more questions coming your way. Please stay tuned. We will be back in just about five minutes. I believe it will be about five minutes, yeah. Five minutes and we will see you there. And Mohamed Zaheer. Bro, you should have clued me up to that. I did. I didn't know you were going to ask another question. Nice. There we go.
Wait, there's a really good initiative by Royal Enfield. You want to talk about it? Yeah, for sure. I've got it clipped right here on my belt. The initiative right here is the Leave Every Place Better initiative that Royal Enfield has entered into this year with not just Rider Mania, but with all of its rides across the board. As someone who's been on quite a few of those rides recently, I can tell you all about it. Royal Enfield is working hard to ensure that their carbon footprint through their rides, through events like this, is reduced as much as possible. All of our vendors, even our t-shirts that we give out to our, our uh, people, they're all packed in biodegradable product, right? We make sure our vendors don't use any single-use plastic. The guys behind our cameras, everywhere, everyone, Royal Enfield pushes them to ensure that they are not damaging this environment. So superb, superb initiative by Royal Enfield here at Ryder Mania 2019. And I think it's going to go grow and continue and take better form as we go through the years. But right now what we have behind us, Clifton, is the expert category 500cc. And uh, who are you supporting? Uh, look, I'm actually really keen for rider number 134. I saw him on the hill climb. Yeah. I'm looking at him. I mean, you look at his size and you just can tell he's got some serious traction on him. He's going to dig this dirt and I believe he's got it. I'm just going to quickly remove my phone and uh, ask the audience another question of the contest that you're running on. So we've already had two questions that are up and running. The third question that we have is, which is the top tier premier class race at Ryder Mania 2019? I think we have spoken about this, haven't we? We know the answer. We know the answer, but that race is coming up next. If you can answer this, let us know what you think or what you know about this in the comment section below. And some of you guys are going to win some really cool Powder merchandise. Also, let's talk about the people who are here, the people who have lined up. Uh, we've got... Uh, Sujit Buire, who is wearing poncho number 52. We have got Sanjay Chikte, rider number 105. Sanjay Kokote, rider number 109. Sharat Kumar, 106. Vihit Sharma, 135. Hemant More, 144. Akshay Jadav, 124. Aksh Aniket Korgaukar, 117. Uh, we've also got Hitesh Gadge, 125. Gaurav Patil, 134. And we've got Mahesh. Sunny, we have got Saif and Mohammed who are also participating in the race. This is the expert gold standard of racing here at Ryder yeah, Mania 2019. Absolutely, and we've got the 12 riders are lined up. We're just waiting on the 15 second board and then this race will be underway. Our riders are revving their engines. Officials are giving the thumbs up. The board is up and we are about to be underway. The gate's about to go down. Rap goes the motorcycle. Let's head and catch out on some action. It's a clean start and every rider has gotten out of the gate. That's always a good sign to see. Wow. Well, somebody's gone down at the first corner and I think he's gone out pretty hard. We can see someone pick up the motorcycle. Some crazy racing in this 12 laps. The rider that they say always Oh, oh and we've no, taken the entire no, stand. No, this is no, definitely this going to shut down the race. Yep, this is going to be red flagged. This is going to be red flagged. Yellow flags are most certainly up. We've I think it's going to be red flag for sure. It's going to be red flagged for with sure. The, stands. the banner has come down. It's going to be red flag for sure. I think this is the. Yep, that is the red flag. This race. So we're going to restart this race. The red flag means we're going to restart this race. Wow, I hope nobody seriously injured because that. I think some people took quite a heavy hit on the head. But I hope they're all okay. The marshals are coming in fairly quickly getting the riders out of their spots and also making sure the banner is up and running once again. Yes, I do see every rider is standing up. That's a fantastic sign. They're picking up the bikes right now and hopefully they'll all be able to continue in this race. Why? Well, I, I don't know if you guys can, but if you guys can go back, rewind and see how it all happened. I think even we'll have a clear understanding of uh, how this all went down. But marshals have uh, pulled in fairly quickly. I think all the riders are almost back on the starting grid to make sure we have this race started again. So we'll take a break for a few moments as yep. the riders readjust, set themselves right, in place, so and we prepare we to restart this race. Yes, we'll be back in just about a bit. They're back on the start gate. They really, really deserve a ride a minute here. So where's the noise? Come on, go! This is the last few chances to cheer up for our riders. After this, we have the final race here, followed by prize distribution. For today's classes, we have the race of champions. That's right. We have the winners of each class from last year of Rider Mania and each class of this year. All the winners are going to be competing in a single race 
different classes from a Himalayan to a 350cc to the 500s all going head to head because they already proved to be masters of each of their classes. Now we're going to mix it up and give you one of the best races for the year here on this very last race, the race of champions after these finals. All right, so next up, back again on the start gate, we got the 500cc experts going head to head one more time. In this race, because it's the finals, we look for the whole shot winner as well, who hits this corner first. And he gets to take home a prize for the whole shot right here today on our drive. We've got uh, Asrudin here. Asrudin, what happened during the first lap? Were you a part of that? Uh, the crashes that happened? Crashes, uh, Tamil. Yeah. Ah. Okay. First point in the Vandi, when the Munna fly, this is the point. That is, the other one is not possible. 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 And I think the marshals, uh, your the race director, if I if I believe who he is, is giving directions to these racers and telling them what needs to be done in the case of a red flag. But we're going to talk. What happened? Were you a part of the crash that took place? Uh, somebody goes on that box. That's why many riders are fall out. That's why. Yeah. Is everyone okay? Yeah, I think everyone is okay, but bikes are there. Bikes are not okay. Okay. So with what I believe is happening, uh, everybody is okay physically, but I think the bikes have taken a toll. So some of them are going to not participate in the race. But with these participants, they're going to line up again and we're going to go green in just about a minute. Hello and welcome back to Rider Mania 2019. What I have with me is of course Clifton who is a very good friend of mine. Clifton is an ambas Himalayan ambassador but even more special is this motorcycle rider. A lot of you guys were asking about this motorcycle yesterday. This is the Himalayan FT411. Yes, absolutely. And Royal Enfield has designed this motorcycle in partnership with SNS. Yep. And they are working to ensure that the Indian motorcycle scene moves forwards to the next level. And that level is flat track racing. Yes, and FTM, I'm, I'm sure, of course, stands for flat track. You want to call it full throttle, you can call it full throttle as well. I'm going to quickly remove my phone here, not to call my wife, but I'm going to just quickly run you through the specs and what it has to offer. So what it really has, to begin with, it's got a fiber bodywork uh, in the tail section and the number plate section. The electrical, in terms of electrical component, the battery has been relocated to a different position. The wheels that you see right here are 18 inch wheels and they have got flat track specific tyres as you can see by the grooves on the rubber. The exhaust and the bend pipe is a custom fitting. You've also got a performance air intake and you've got custom sprockets so that when you get, off a, get out of a corner, you can just really wrap it out. On the other hand, there are a lot of parts that have been removed. There's no headlight, there's no speedometer, 
the tail la uh, the indicators have been removed as well the seat assembly is a different one so this is in particular a very special motorcycle just meant for flat track what do you think about it yeah absolutely i spent a few uh, few moments on this a few laps on this the other day and i can tell you it is a different machine it feels like it's designed for this track you can really tell right royal enfield has held no bars they have pushed and pushed and pushed their developing team to make sure that this bike is competitive that it's really perfect for the beginning flat track races right right so this is the ft411 there are a lot of races that will come your way through the course of the day especially the novice 500 cc category the finals are happening today and so is the expert 500 cc category but the race that i'm waiting for the most the race of champions man absolutely so we will see you in just a bit meanwhile this race right here ladies and gentlemen is the himalayan ft411 Nailed it. People who are joining us live at this very moment, what you're seeing right now is the restart of the 500cc expert category. We've had a red flag in this session and these guys are going to go at it again. There was a banner that fell down on a couple of riders. I hope they're really okay. Uh, the bikes seem to be a problem for some of these riders, so, they're getting, they're, so they've gotten back to their pits, they've gotten back to their mechanic and they are uh, trying to uh, get their bikes fixed. So once that happens, uh, this is going to go green very, very soon. I hope you guys are also, in, also following up on the contest that is running on this very particular live segment. We also have a couple of questions that we have asked on Instagram. We have already asked three questions. One answer is already out. Uh, we're going to announce the winners of this contest very, very soon as well. So the riders are beginning to line up. As you can see behind us, there's obviously this is an added challenge to the race, an unexpected element. Yep. Some of them are disappointed. I'm sure the guys who are at the back of the pack are, are kind of hopeful. <laughs> yeah. You know, hoping for yet another shot at this, uh, you know, getting ahead of the pack. But uh, that's what happens, man. It happens in races, right? You've just got to roll with what seems like the most fair decision. Yeah, and in the midst of all of this, I'm going to quickly remove my phone once again, not to call my wife again. But I'm going to talk you. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about the contest that we are running. We also had a very special school that was inaugurated here at Idamina 2019. That's the slide school. And the next question is based on that. With whom has Royal and Field tied up for the slide school? Should I give a hint? I think that it's going to be fair. Sure. It's a school from Bangalore. So all you Bangalore folks, I think you know the answer. Get down and dirty in the comments and let us know what the correct answer is. We've already asked three questions so far. We've already given out one answer and we're going to give out all the answers and the names of the contest winners very, very soon as well. Yeah, and in fact, if you've been paying attention to the slide school demonstrations that have been going on here, you would have seen the logo of the school that's involved. Their branding has certainly been everywhere. And in fact, one of their riders was here with us. Shall we reveal the name? Absolutely, yeah, you Mr. can. Nelly. Nelly is one of the riders. So if you know Nelly, you know the answer. Put it in the comment section below. We're looking forward to hearing from you guys. And I hope you're enjoying all this racing action that's coming your way this Sunday from Ride Abania 2019. We've spoken about a really cool initiative. Right, We've also spoken about a really cool motorcycle that was specially unveiled for the slide school. That's the FT411. You can catch uh, the, the specs and what we've spoken about at the beginning of this video. But right about now, it's race time. That's right, we got the winners from the expert 500cc class is up next. For people who are joining in right now, this is a restart, it was red flag. But I think the race that we both are really looking forward to is the race that is next after this. Absolutely, the race of champions is sure to be an epic event, right? Yep. But it's these guys who are participating right now who hope to be in the race of champions themselves next year, right? Yeah, it's and definitely an exciting event. It's where we see the best of the best riders from Royal Enfield Rider Mania's past. Anyone who's placed in a in a podium position yep. is able to register and compete in the event itself. Yeah. So funny thing, I got a call yesterday because I was in the podium in the media class. I got a call yesterday saying that I could be a part of the race of champions. Unfortunately, I got injured because of a crash that I had yesterday. I couldn't take part. I would love to, but I think next year maybe you and I will both go racing, Clifton. Probably not in the champions race, but uh, <laughs> I'll see how I go with in the, the rookie class. category. <laughs> Clifton and I. Clifton, you're the Himalayan ambassador. Why don't you tell the audience what the Himalayan ambassador means to you and the team? Yeah, absolutely. So I've been riding Himalayan since they first came out. I absolutely love that bike. It's perfect for my riding style. I love to tour. 
but I also love to get off the road. Right. You know, I love to hit the gravel, hit the stones, and really push myself and push my bike. And uh, for me, it's all about Uttarakhand riding, right? You know, Uttarakhand is my home right now. It's where, where I feel that connection to India, and uh, the Himalayan is the perfect bike to hit those roads. Absolutely, you know, as I, as I enter into the mountain roads, I don't have to be afraid of, of gravel. I don't need to be concerned whether the road is going to end. You know, all roads, no roads, man. That's what the Himalayan's about. And uh, for people who do not know this or, or who are seeing Clifton for the very first time, he speaks fluent freaking Hindi. Yeah, kafi log to sab like chong jate jab mere Hindi nikal jata hai. But uh, yeah, 18 saal ho gaya India mein, to of course, agar main apne desh ka language nahi sikh sakta hoon, to that's saying something, right? Jebaad, chak de fatte is what we call it. Chak de fatte. Yeah, when I go to Delhi and like if I get in a rickshaw or something like that, people get shocked, man. Yeah. Like kabi kabi jaise. So if you have to say 400 rupees, I'll make it like this. Like this and like this. This and this is going to happen here at Rider Minute 2019. This and this has already happened here, man. What are you talking about? Yeah, this and this has already happened. Yeah, so the race is about to begin. I think people have already lined up. The bikes are already dirty and mucky and there are lots of dirt all around the motorcycle. The fenders are vibrating and I think these people are raring to go. Who are you placing your bets on for this particular class? Yeah, again, I, you know, I'm excited for this race. I'm not willing to put any bet on anyone. After that last start, I think that it's anyone's game. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, also, uh, just a quick reminder, the soil right now is still very loose, and that's because it's been watered down, so the soil is really loose. Uh, the tra the traction is going to be difficult, and uh, that is something that people are going to find, diffi uh, find difficult to get adjusted to. Yeah, absolutely. Like I'm finding it quite difficult to hear right now. The exhaust from these engines, they are rumbling, man. Rap. These guys are checking their bikes, they're making sure that they're good to go. There is a lot of noise right here at Rider Mania on the Dirt Track event. Thanks for joining us. Let us know in the comment section below where you're watching from. We want to hear what country you're from, what city you're from. Represent your local, your local riding club. We want to hear from you. Where are you guys from? What's your riding game? What's your riding story? What brought you here today? What brought you to join us here at the Dirt Track Rider Mania event in Vagator Goa? And yes, please do participate in our contest as well. We have two more questions that are going to come your way or one more question that's going to come your way. We have some really cool Power Drift merchandise to give you guys. And if you get that correct, you might be one of the lucky ones. Are you participating in the contest? I'm not sure I'm allowed to participate in the contest oh. in that I know the answers, but... Uh, <laughs> You, yeah. can, you can probably have a fake profile and answer them all correctly. I think with everything, with all the action that's going on here today, do you think I've got time to create a fake profile? Absolutely not. But if no. Yeah, it's just time for racing right now. The board's going to go up. I think there's going to be a thumbs up. The riders have lined up. The gate's up and running. The board's up and running. The marshals are in place. And we are about to go racing. The 15 second board is up. This race is about to begin. Riders are ready and they're away. Whoa, massive wheelie at the start wow, by number 125. 125 has pulled his bike into the air. Wow, what a that was one hell of a wheelie so much from the start point. Oh, look at him go from the outside. Wow, wow. Oh, he's fallen down. No, he has not. Kind of managed to hold on to the motorcycle. Number one, one, two, two. What a racing line. If you missed it, he came from the outside on the long straight and took him out. Wow. Number 122, That's him, we number know 122. that number. We've been watching this guy. There is no clear separation between between first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. This is anyone's race. Number 144 going down right in front of us. And you, if you can see, if you can move in, and if you can see, his bike's not starting. The soil here is very, very, very loose. Very, very mucky as well, and that's because of the water that the, these marshals have put in. So I think traction is going to be a problem for the next race as well. Clifton can't hear me, I can't hear him, and that's because there are a lot of motorcycles around us, and it's always a good thing to be around motorcycles all the time. Number 122 has taken a lead now, he's pushing himself ahead, but behind him, back a few places, is number 124 who's carrying along a hay bale. Yep. Doing the convenient <laughs> thing, being nice to his fellow riders and sweeping the track as he goes. Yeah. So the, and why why is that happening? Because you can see behind us there's bail around the corner of someone who's taking a nice tight defensive line. It usually gets stuck in the chain in the sprocket. 
and that's why you see a lot of these riders carrying a lot of grass around. <laughs> oh man, this is so fun. So much fun to watch. These boys go just all out racing. I really do like 124's strategy. I think what he's trying to do is kick up as much dust as he can with that <laughs> hay bale, blind his op opponents, and really push himself forward through the pack. Yeah, put obstacles around the course in some parts. Oh, oh this is so damn funny to watch. Wow. I can see a lot of yellow flags up. I believe a rider stopped at one of the last corners. But rider number 122 is really pushing his wow. lead. Behind him in second place is 109, in third place is 106, but coming up behind him is 134. These guys are not giving up. Wow. I'm, I, I know it's a lot of fun to watch it from wherever you're watching in the country, but it's a whole different experience to be here on Ground Zero and watch these racers go, just go boom, boom, boom. It's just so much fun to watch, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think we're not just watching, we're feeling this race. You know, the ground's shaking. Absolutely, right here on the track. It's terrifying, it's exciting, it's amazing, man. And it's funny as well. Atmosphere. Oh, oh, there comes 124. <laughs> His talk of here. 124 is definitely pulling the old hay bale sprocket trick. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, isn't it, Clifton? What a time to be alive. What a time to be here at Ridomania 2019. It's just all these guys going out against each other, full gas around the corner. Brap, 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 the motorcycle goes. Yeah, and just listen to the crowd cheering for number 122. He's obviously a favorite. I can, I can just hear these guys screaming his number out. It's fantastic to see so many people from right across the country, from across the world, turning up here to Rider Mania for this dirt track event to support their riders, to support their brand. Yep, absolutely. A lot of these riders are also falling down. Um, um, I think, and, and majorly because, like I said, it's majorly because of the soil, the composition of the ground right here. You know, in the motorcycling world, they say every sticker adds 5 bhp, but I think every bale of grass is adding 10 bhp to these motorcycles. So the more grass you oh. carry, the faster you go. Oh, there's a massive crash! Oh, his leg is stuck, his leg is stuck. Someone needs to go to him immediately. His leg is stuck Should under. Coming in, to help out. He's all right. He's out from under the bike. Very disappointing outcome there. Let's ride a number 109. 109 has gone down. Oh, 109. He was upside down. I read it as 106. Oh, it's, oh yeah, yeah. 109 is down. And uh, I'm glad he's okay because he had his foot stuck below the motorcycle. So just happy to see him get up and get racing again. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what we were talking about before, right? These guys know you do not give up in an event like this. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, yesterday when I crashed as well, I had to get back on the motorcycle just for the sake of it, you know, just to complete the race. And that is what racing is all about. It might sound a little cliché, but when you go when you go down, it's always a good feeling to get back up and get racing. Yeah. There's, there's so much confusion happening here. I've completely lost touch with who's leading the race, who's second and who's third. I have no clue who's who's on the podium. He doesn't know either, Clifton doesn't know either. But if you do know it, let us know in the comment section and we'll be more than happy to respond to you guys. Definitely because it's all serious racing here. I can see a lot of retired so motorcycles by the sidelines and that's majorly because of some mechanical issues here. The weather here in Goa is extremely hot and I can imagine these guys in all their gear going through this weather but at the end of it, it's all in the spirit of racing, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. And that's the thing that sets Royal Enfield apart for me. Oh, it's, someone's got it. It's the spirit of racing, it's also the idea of community, right? Yeah. These guys, these riders, they're all buddies, they're all friends. They may be competing like warriors. But at the end of these days, they're sitting down together, they're having a beer, they're having a, you know, a laugh, they're having food together, and it's just awesome to be a part of that incredible community here at Rider Mania. People are actually honking on the racetrack, and I've, we spoke about this in the previous days as well. Honking on a racetrack is just a funny thing to happen to racing, isn't it? I mean, imagine you're going full gun on the straight, and you hear this go, this thing go, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Oh, somebody's oh, gone down, somebody's gone down. Oh, and I think he's injured number, rider number 124 is injured. 
So we're going into the last lap right now. In fact, the checkered flag is out. And here comes our Victor heading across the finish line. And this is fantastic. What an outcome. He has maintained his lead the entire race, cheering to the audience as he rolls through into the end of this race. Wow, we have a what winner. What a fantastic result. What a fantastic result. So much commotion. So much actually went on in this race, you know. There was a red flag, people restarted. So many crashes happening right behind us. In fact, we can actually see one rider who is down. Uh, I hope he's okay. He's gotten up. But I think he's having some difficulty with his leg because the bike fell on his leg. But I think he's going to be okay. This is going to be the moment of truth, the gold moment here at Rider Mania 2019. The race of champions is up next, buddy. Yeah, and in fact, I can already see that the riders are lining up in their positions, ready to, to take part in this crazy, insane race. We know we're going to feel it. We know the crowd is going to feel it. We want to know if you guys are feeling it. How do you feel about the race of champions? Are you pumped? Are you excited? Is there someone you're supporting? Let us know, guys. We really want to hear from you. We would like to take a short break here, but we will be back and we're going to talk to some of these riders and uh, just go, go inside their brain and let's just try to kind of figure out what's going on before the race of champions. We will see you in a bit. Unleashed on the dirt track to prove to be the best, not only on this lap, but of this dirt track. King of the dirt, soon to be crowned. Next up, race of champions. Okay, before we get into the race of champions, we are still getting a final classification of how many members are going to race. I was told 17, but there are a couple more people who are going to join this race. That's going to bring the total up to 19 people. So 19 people going up against each other. And it's going to make, be a mix of people. We've also got number 113, Rihanna B. She is also a national champion in road racing. She's going to be racing against some of these lads. And it's going to be a mix of people together. We've also got a very strong contender in the form of Sohail Ahmad, who is riding number 85. A lot of fans for him around this arena who are going to be cheering for Sohail Ahmad. So that is another bike that you need to keep your eyes on. But again, this is the race of champions, right? This is the pedigree of these 
uh, racers out here is so high. Anybody can go and just win this. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go and talk to Sohail Ahmad and we shall have him, we shall have him on a quick chat. I've got Sohail me, with me. Sohail, this is the race of the champions, the gold standard of racing here at Rider Mania. What are you feeling about this? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. Yeah, I'm feeling excited to ride uh, like a race of the champion. It's the biggest uh, like class in uh, three days. So everybody is waiting for this this uh, race of the champion. Let's uh, we'll do our best. So well, Ahmed, good luck. You have a lot of fans around this arena who are cheering for you. I'm a big fan of yours as well. So good luck, buddy. I'll see you on the track. We'll move on and uh, also talk to Rihanna B, who is rider number one one three. Rihanna, this is the race of the champions. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. It feels very good to compete with the men's and uh, I, it, it's going to be a challenging race for me. So let me see what is my potential. And so. Super, Brihana, by the way, yesterday you won a podium. You were the first in one of the races and she's also finished second. She's also a national champion. So this is one competitor who you need to keep your eyes on. Moving up the order, we have rider number 126, your Syed Samir. Uh, yeah. Syed Samir, how are you feeling today? So good. I'm running first time uh, rider man, yeah. yeah. Feeling good. Yeah. This is the race of the champion, so you're going up against some very tough competition. What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on this, going up against some very tough competition? Very tough, I hope. How very tough, but I will... Good luck, Sayed Samir. We'll see you on the track cheering for you. Good luck, buddy. And moving on, moving on, we also have rider number 106. Why don't you tell us your name and what does it feel like to be in the race of champions? I'm, uh, my name is Sharad Kumar. It's very good. I'm riding Pulsar Rider Mania. It's very good uh, organizing and very good uh, event. I'm uh, feeling much more crazy to ride. Uh, I've already won the novice uh, first and expert second. Wow. Yeah. So novice winner and he's expert and he's second, he stood second in expert. So Sarat Kumar, we're going to keep an eye out for you as well. Good luck and the race is about to begin. All these competitors are going to line on a platform like this. This is where they have a uniform start of, uh, start of sorts. So they line up, here's the gate and once the gate goes down, it's all green. If you, are tu if you are tuning in to Power Drift Live right now from Rider Mania 2019, I would say you have tuned in at the right time. This is the final race here at Rider Mania 2019. This is the race of the champions. And the race of the champions essentially means if you have won or you have stood in the podium before, you are eligible to race your race of champions. Clifton is going to take over from here and he's probably going to go and talk but I don't think we have the time. I think we only have the time to go racing. Clifton, what are your thoughts on this buddy? i got to say one of the things that I find most interesting about this race is we have some of our best riders performing but as well as that we have a mixture of bikes, right? So this is a chance to not just see how the riders compete against each other but how the bikes compete against each other and that excites me. It better be a Himalayan, that's what I'm telling you. It better be a Himalayan in pole position. So I've already gotten my favorite rider who's going to probably win this. His name is Soel Ahmad. He's rider number 85. Oh, come on, dude. You're picking everybody's favorite right there. <laughs> yeah, Soel Ahmad is a big, pretty big name here uh, in the Dirt Arena, isn't it? Yeah, he's a multiple winner, multiple time winner. It's fantastic to see him here again competing. He's certainly got a big crowd behind him supporting him. My money's on some of the underdogs. I really hope that these younger guys, the guys who've won one or two places, second or third place, I really want them to come up in the ranks, you know, I'm really excited about that. And before we get into racing, I'm going to quickly remove my phone and ask you the last question for this contest before we announce the winners of the contest and the correct answers. And the last question for this contest is what is the or what is the number of categories in the dirt track races here at Ridermania 2019? 
That is what the final question is. We've already announced a couple of answers. Or we haven't. We've announced just one answer. We've got all the answers spent. And we're going to answer or we're going to spell out the second answer for this contest. The second question was, which bike did I ride to ride a mania last year? And that... Which I now know the answer for. And that was the... Oh, I'm not going to give the answer. I have to give the answer and that was the Interceptor 650. If you have gotten that right, then you stand a chance to win some really cool power drift merchandise. But for now, it's time to get back to racing! I was just Here they are, winners of each class, the 350 We can see the officials are just doing their final checks of the track, making sure to remove all of the hay that's been dragged across over the last few laps. This race of champions is soon to be underway. The board is out on the track. It is yet to be raised. We are just waiting. It will only be a few moments now. Like Clifton said, the race about to begin any time now. And this is a pretty loaded lineup that we have here at Rider Mania 2019. The race of champions, the gold standard of racing here at this particular event. You're watching this on a Sunday, the final day of, of this particular year of Rider Mania. The bikes are revving hard, the engines, are engine, the engines are getting warmed up, and the boat's about to go up any time now. Clifton, are you ready? I am ready, and I can see that the, uh, the judges are preparing. The board is going up. 15 seconds to go for this all-important start of the race of champions. Any moment now, and they are away. The and we are off. My God. We are the champions going head to head with Vice Anderson. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mercedes and Vice Anderson. Yeah. 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 Wow, one of the most exciting races we've seen. Wow, the race has started. I'm this getting is, goosebumps. This is most certainly the most exciting part of the race. Who will get ahead? We can see number 89 has taken the lead, but it's been, he's been overtaken by number 142. And the crowd are going mental. They are going wild. Man, there's so much dirt flying around. I can't even see who is in the lead, who's second and who's third. There's just so much dirt around this track, staying true to its name of dirt riding. I can't even know where Sohail Ahmed is, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. This is an incredibly, incredibly adrenaline-packed race. Right? These riders are the guys who've already proven themselves. These are the riders who have taken podium positions in past Royal Enfield Rider Mania events. They are here to compete against each other, to really see who is the best of the best, right? The race of champions. The best of the best, the fastest of the Lord, the quickest of the Lord, the one who's, goes, who's got the most brap in his engine. We're looking out for that number. But I think it's number 142 who is in the lead. I believe that this is the front of the pack, 142 followed by number 89 and 132. So Hale Emma trying to push his way through the pack, number 85, you're keeping a close eye on him. He's an accomplished rider. I can see it. I can see a lot of yellow flags up on the track. That means that there's little issues that they want to make sure these drivers are safe. The drivers are aware they need to take a little extra care as they approach blind corners. Right, absolutely. And uh, like I said earlier, there's just so much dirt flying around. People are there by the plenty. There are about 19 people in the race right now. 19 people in such a tiny space and trying to win or trying to go for gold. And it's such a competitive environment here at the Race of Champions. Number 142, I believe, is still in the lead. It's just so difficult to spot these people. Here, there's so much dust around here. That's the new flavor in town. 89, overtaking. Oh, yes, 89 is the number one in the lead now. This is incredible. Number 89 versus number 142. These guys are pushing it. 
No. There's nothing like hearing the crowd shouting out Himalayan, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of Himalayans in the picture, lots of other motorcycles as well. The style has kind of started to cake up, so they're going to get a little better traction here. So I think the competition really is between number 142 and number 89. They're constantly switching places. 142 has taken the lead again. Number 89 still has to catch up. This truly could be either of them taking the podium for this yeah. one, taking that first, that prime position on the podium. You can see Sohail Ahmad, number 85, he's in the fourth position right now. Number third is still out of reach, but we have a few more laps to go before he can catch up and step on the podium. Wow, some incident took place behind us, I think we completely missed it. Number 44 kind of spun around, trying to get the bike started, but... Uh, it's always such a difficult thing, no Clifton. Once you fall down, the bike conks off. You're in this world of hustle. You're trying to get the bike started again, jump on it and start racing. There's so much confusion involved. But it's so commendable to see all these racers, they do that every single time. Absolutely. The key is to not give up. The key is to keep pushing, keep moving. Even if you miss that podium spot, just finishing the race, there's an incredible feeling. Yep. And what better feeling than to finish a race in the race of champions? The creme de la creme, like uh, Clifton says always, this is the creme de la creme of dirt riding, dirt racing here at Rider Mania 2019. I don't think you can see anything behind us because this is all so hazy. And uh, we're, having a lot, we're having a lot of fun. Clifton, are you having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a dust shower. This is... An incredible event. I think that's uh, the flavor. The flavor of my new sunscreen is called dust. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. Wow. Oh, there's someone who's gone down again. Yellow flags are out. Uh, These guys are pushing their bikes. They are pushing themselves. Oh. So naturally. Oh, number one twenty. Oh, number eighty-nine is in the lead. Number one twenty-four, who was with him, has crashed down. So hey, Lama is second. Number 85! Oh, he He's goes down! down. Soil Ahmad is Second down! Second place has been overtaken by number 132. This is racing at its finest. So many people have crashed. So many podium positions have gone. There's only going to be one winner, one champion here at the race of champions. The sun is pretty, pretty blaring here. Number 89 still in the lead. We've got number 32. Or number 132 is second. Number 85. So LMA trying to make it count every single corner. By the way, I think kudos to Rihanna B, who is probably the only female racer in this category. She's trying. There are two female racers, one of two female racers. She's trying to stick it with the boys trying to make sure she stays with the pack, does not lose a lot of positions. So it's super commendable to see something like this happen in a race like this. Yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic to see our female riders growing and growing. They're pushing their limits, they're pushing the guys, they're proving that it's not about gender, it's about skills. It's about how much are you willing to put into this sport. Yeah, and I think she's put it all, she's giving it it all. And uh, I think we have a couple more laps left. Oh, oh, there's a collision again. Number 109 and number 33, I think the handlebar is stuck to each other. Oh, oh no. The throttle got stuck. He's gotten back on the track. The cones are out on the track. Oh no, he's going to take a cone with him. Oh wow. This We're now entering into the final lap, the final race. Our champion is headed towards the finish line. And here he is. Number 89 has won it. What Number 89 has taken it this one home. So as we now end this, the race of champions, the final race on day three of Rider Mania 2019. My name's Clifton Shipway. My name is Varun Painter and like I say with this very final line, I'm Varun Painter and I will see you later. But before we end this, we're going to announce the correct answers for all the of questions course, that course, we have I, asked. I forget. Yeah, and we're going to also announce the winners in this live stream in the comment section below. So if you have given the correct answer, please make sure you stay tuned in and stay tuned to the comments. Any last words, Clifton from Ridermania 2019? 
Varun, it's been a pleasure, my friend. It's been such an incredible thing to be able to stand here trackside, hearing these incredible machines, seeing you race, my brother. What an amazing turn of events. Thank you so much. And we shall be back next year as well, right, Amania? 2020, I think it's going to be bigger, better, and faster. This is going to be Warren Painter signing out along with Clifton Shipway. See you next year. Stick it out and wish them right now.